So, over here, we're on our way to Cerulean City, I believe it's called. Now, be prepared, because once you uh, jump over one of these fucking TMO4, ooh, I don't know what that is, I think it's Mega Kick. Once you jump over one of these hills, you will not be able to come back. Uh, there's no way for us to go up here yet, so don't worry about it. But anyways, you jump on down here, and now you're on your way to Cerulean City, home of our next gym, hosted by the gym leader, uh, Misty. Some of you may remember Misty from the Pokemon anime. Guess what? She is nothing like that in this game whatsoever. And by she is nothing like that, I mean she has zero character and is a major pain in the ass to fight. For some fucking reason, when they were making Cerulean City, they decided to just give you a quick old flick in the nuts, right? Because Misty is just a fucking... For some reason... She is just like a goddamn. What's the word I'm looking for here? Difficulty spike. And it's even way worse in Fire Red and Leaf Green, which are the third generation remakes of this game. So, Misty has. Ooh, shit. Did they change her Pokemon in. in the remake? Hmm. I'm not sure if. I think she only has two Pokemon in this. in this version. Which is, uh, which is Starmie and Staryu. I mean, Staryu and Starmie. I mean, vice versa, whatever the fuck. Staryu, it's not that hard to deal with. Starmie, on the other hand, is a pain in the ass. Now, either I can be right about that, or she either has, like, a horsey and a Starmie, or a horsey and a Staryu, I don't know. So, before... Dealing with Misty, I suggest that we do some training. And by training, I mean checking out the Golden Bridge. Golden Bridge? No, not Golden Bridge. Nugget Bridge. Checking out the Nugget Bridge. Which is up here. Now, be warned. When you go to the Nugget Bridge, you are going to f you're going to have to brace yourself for a fight with your rival. And your rival. Same as Misty, for some reason, doesn't want to pull any punches. Yo, Red. You're still struggling along back here? I'm doing great. I caught a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon. Here, let me see what you caught. At this point, I recommend having at least four Pokemon to fight him. Right, because he sports four Pokemon. Alright. Pidgeotto. It's kind of a pain in the ass to deal with. So, go. Magikarp. Tackle. Do some damage. Jesus. Now, I only have Magikarp here to really, like, stall for time a bit. That's a critical. How much damage am I going to get off of that? Oh. All right, Magikarp. You can take, like... Oh, never mind. Quick attack. All right, cool. Great job. Return. Now, Pidgeotto is going to be a problem for me. I mean, all its Pokemon are honestly going to be a problem for me. Theory Attack. Now, Theory Attack is a multi-hitting move. When it comes to Gen 1 of Pokemon, when you do multi-hitting moves, there's a chance that you'll get a critical on one of the moves. In Gen 1, if you get a critical on one of the attacks, the critical will go for all the rest of the moves if you end up doing more attacks for it, so. It's kind of a good, it's kind of a good thing to do. Damn it, and unless you miss. Critical, 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 critical. Come on, keep doing it. Oh, you're so dead. Oh, hang in there, buddy. Damn it! Haha. -ha. Fucking quick attack, god damn attack priority he had in son of a bitch. Alright. Again, you're there for fodder. Come on, you can do it. You got one more attack in you, buddy. Make it count. 
And now you're gonna use quick attack, right? Yep. <laughs> Alright. Here's where, uh... I'm just gonna tackle you. That should really hurt, right? Ah, damn it. Of course. Good thing Gus isn't super effective to me. Fuck. Alright. Cool. Abra. Now, Abra's great here. Abra's just a full-on freebie. It knows nothing but teleport, I think. So, sit on back and relax. How the fuck are you evading the attack, dude? What the fuck, man? Hello, Leech Seed. Am I, am I like, hello? Are you kidding me? Uh, hello? Oh my god. This is stupid. This is dumb. This is dumb! Fucking just use Vine Whip, man. Alright. Matata. Oh, we're gonna do this shit again. Great. Come on, Vine Whip. All you gotta do is hit one. All you gotta do is hit one. Evade the attack. Like I said, all you gotta do is hit one. Alright, here's the real problem for me. Charmander. Luckily, he doesn't have a Charmeleon yet. Now, why Charmander is not as strong as Pidgeotto, I don't get it. But Leech Seed, come on man, that's all I need you to do. That's all I need you to do, is hit that Leech Seed. Mm. Come on, just hit that Leech Seed, there we go. Now, Charmander should have a fire attack. I don't know why why it's not using it. Poison powder. Didn't affect Charmander. What do you mean it didn't affect? What the fuck? Didn't affect Charmander? Oh, shit. I think you gotta use poison first before you use Leech Seed in this game. It doesn't matter. I'll vine whip it. I know it's not super effective, but my special stat should make up for it. And I guess not. How much is my tackle gonna do? If I fucking hit it. You're really giving you're really giving me the benefit of the doubt here, Green. I I mean like, come on man. Up oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. You know what? I should've I should've I should just shut my mouth. He's getting serious now. Come on, man. Just just hit the fucking tackle. On top of that, my... Uh, oh, wow. It used Leer on me so many times, but it doesn't matter because Ember's a fucking special attack move. Great. Good job, Tremander. It was worth it. Oh, my... F <laughs> my fucking god. This is the most fucking magoober ass fight I've ever been in. Finally. Shit. Wow, that was dumb. So you say you had a bunch of smart Pokemon, right, Green? Hey, take it easy. You won already. Hey, guess what? I went to Bills and got him to show me his rare Pokemon. I think you need an adult for that. That added a lot of pages to my Pokedex. After all, Bill's world famous as a Pokemaniac. He invented the Pokemon storage system on PC. Since you're using his system, go thank him. Don't tell me what the fuck to do. I don't have to, he invented it. It's not my fault. You think I'm thinking Thomas Edison for my light bulb? No, I'm not. That guy can burn in hell, for all I care. Well, I better get rolling. Smell you later. 
I wish I had my own theme. Yeah, it'd be cool too. Anyways, let me head on over to the Pokemon Center. Fucking scrape Magikarp off the pavement. Pidgeotto's the problem in that fight. Again, recommended to have at least four Pokemon. <laughs> Level 18 Pidgeotto, go. Alright. So now that that's done, time to head up to uh, the Nugget Bridge. So Nugget Bridge over here, as expected, by the end of the bridge you should get a Nugget. But you're gonna have to fight a lot of trainers on your way there. This is Nugget Bridge. Beat us five trainers and win a fabulous prize. Think you got what it takes? Bugcatcher wants to fight. Sends out Caterpie. Level 14. By this time, your Caterpie should be fully evolved. I don't know why you're sticking with a level 14 Caterpie. It's really not worth it, but okay. Oh my god. The tackle fest begins. You got it, King of Cut. Magic Cut. <laughs> I couldn't afford it with my own salary, so I spent yours too. What? <laughs> Critical. You're really making this a pain in the ass, huh, Caterpie? Alright, and Caterpie's down. All that work for a measly 159 experience. That's great. Weedle. Weedle is what I think Caillou would look like if, it, if he was a Pokemon. You know? Am I the only one who thinks about this type of stuff? If Caillou was a Pokemon, he'd be a Weedle. little bitchy ass Caillou. Come on, you're a fish. Don't get beaten by a worm. You're supposed to eat fish. And then you get killed by the hook. Come on, you got this, Magikarp. I believe in you. Wow, that was so not worth it. Ooh, good stuff. Yeah, of course. No, it wasn't. I'm second. Now it's serious. Crushing that guy's worms? I got real Pokemon. Check this shit out. Last one's the fight. She sends out a Pidgey. Yeah, it's getting serious. It's serious. Fight my bird. You got a HM, bitch. Fucking sand attack, man. See, in other games, it wouldn't be as devastating, but because every move has the same amount of accuracy... Actually, I think, I think, besides two moves, I think it's, uh, it's Swift, and it might be Blizzard, actually. I think Blizzard in Gen 1 has a 90% chance of hitting. Can you fucking, like, please hit the damn Pidgey? Oh my god. But not only moves uh, have a chance of missing, you also have a chance of missing your Pokeball. Even Master Balls in Gen 1, you can- there. It's very rare, but you can miss a goddamn Master Ball in Pokemon Gen 1. There's also a thing known as- well, I'm not sure if- I'm not sure if it's real or not. I think it is, because at least that this is how I explain it when I see it. I think there's something called a critical catch, which uh, you throw out your Pokeball, right? And it, and it fucking hits the Pokemon, and instead of shaking four times, it shakes like one or once or twice, and then fucking it just catches the Pokemon. So Pokeballs have critical chance in this game. Apparently.
There we go. Now you're out of the picture. And I'm level 23. Really don't mean to be this overpowered. <laughs> How could I lose? I don't know, because you had a fucking... You had a bird, and I forgot where her second Pokemon was already, even though I killed it. Nidoran? You had a bunny, a bird... Does she have a third Pokemon? I don't, I don't know, I don't remember. Sometimes I just autopilot, right? Please heal my Pokemon, Nurse Joy. They're dying. I think Magikarp's level 17 now, right? Alright. Back up to the Nugget Bridge. We got three more trainers to deal with. And then after that, we're gonna grab ourselves our third member on our team. Here's now, here's number three. That won't be easy. I don't know, I'll be the judge of that. Rattata! You got this, Magikarp. Tackle. You know, there's no reason for making Magikarp fight his own battles because EV stats don't exist in Gen 1. I'll talk about EV stats at a later date when we get to Gen 2. I think that's when they got introduced. But, um, they don't exist in Gen 1. So I really don't get any boost from this besides just getting the complete number of experience instead of splitting it with a different Pokemon. Oh my fucking god, that wasn't even a critical. Alright, yeah, no. If I get hit by a critical, I'm dead. So I'm just not gonna do that. Eighty-four. Don't worry, three more levels and then we won't have any use for HM bitch. At least not now, anyways. Switch on out. It's the Kiki Cop. Match card. Oh shit. Fuck, that's not good. Alright, so Ekans. Probably the first time you're gonna come up against a Pokemon that has a move like, like, Wrap, and Constrict, and fucking and Bind, and goddamn Fire Spin. Yep, here we go. Now to just sit here and take it. Alright, cool. Leech Seed! This way, when it uses Rat, now you can still do some damage and heal back the, um, heal back the, uh, what you call it, the damage you've taken. Leechee's actually pretty good in Gen, in Gen 1. Sleep, Poison, not Paralysis, I don't think Paralysis is that good. Uh, you know, Freeze. Frozen, whatever the fuck the status effect is. Pretty goddamn good. What Pokemon are you sending out? I was paying attention. Fucking Zubac. Okay, yeah, of course. Go on, match cut. Come back out, HM bitch. That's right, you're a bitch. A little dirty bitch. A little dirty HM bitch. You're gonna be used like one, too. I'm fucking confused. God damn it. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> sometimes you just sometimes you just hit a move in Pokemon and you just just go like, yeah, do the thing. Hit him with a thunder blast. You got him. Now I don't know how confusion damage is uh, calculated, but I I always thought it was like one fourth of the maybe one fourth, maybe a half. Maybe fucking one third of the damage that you were gonna do is done onto yourself. Ow! Stomp flat. Great, cool. Out of my way. I'm number four. Getting tired? A little bit. A little bit. What you got for me? Two Pokemon. Pidgey. Great. More sand attacks.
I had to yawn. Oh shit, it's critical. They're all gonna be crits. Nice. See, that's what I was talking about. You want that. That's beautiful. That's what you want. Oh shit, I didn't mean to click Leer. God damn it. I meant to click Fairy Attack. I was gonna use Peck, but then I thought against it. Sends out. I need a ran. Alright. Uh, yeah, no. I'll switch out. And do this. I don't. I think you can survive an attack, right, HM Bitch? Yeah, you can survive an attack. Great. Fury attack. Do it. Critical, 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 critical. Aww. Oh. It two times. You're worthless to me. Ah, oh, the wonderful patent fucking ear grinding danger sound of Pokemon. Five times. Yeah. Damn it. You got this, Magikarp. You can do this. Steal all the experience for yourself. I believe in you. Damn it. You're worthless. You can do a magic card. Come on. Come on. Come on, magic card. Don't miss. Yeah. Think of all that delicious experience you just got. And you did it all by yourself with no help. I'm so proud of you. Now I'm gonna walk my ass back down. Don't worry. Magic card will be powerful one day. And then he'll fucking kill everyone that made fun of him. Revenge is sweet. He'll be like fucking Devimon from Digimon. <laughs> it's Biezelmon. What is it, Biezelbubmon or Biezelmon? I don't fucking know. He's like, you motherfuckers used to make fun of me. Time to kill everyone. Like, Jesus. <laughs> and then, almost like it's fate in every goddamn Digimon fucking lion, lion, Lionomon or whatever the fuck he's called. He dies. That's all he ever does in Digimon is die. <laughs> it's fucking terrible. How much experience do you actually need for your next level? Out of curiosity. 519. Oh man, that's so much. <laughs> we'll get there though. Okay, I'm number five. I'll stop you. Junior trainer. Mankey. Okay, that's not bad. That's actually in my favor. I'm constantly looking over at my phone because I'm waiting for a call. I have to go and pick my dog up from the vet today. Jesus, what the fuck? I looked away for one second. What happened? Use Peck. Kill it. Oh my god! What the fuck? Why are you so strong? Oh. Karate Chop. That's what you did. Oh my fucking... Dude, you got like, what? Three crits in a row? Cut that shit out. <laughs> Line whip. What the hell just happened? Whoa, too much. What do you mean, too much? You cheating ass. Jesus. I gotta run all the way back to the Pokemon Center already. I feel bad. I feel bad. I feel like... I feel like I'm worthless. But don't worry, it'll all pay off. When our team becomes a powerhouse. You know, I could just grab some other Pokemon and kind of make my life a little bit easier for myself for the sake of progression, but I'm stingy. The way I see it is that if I grab other Pokemon, I'll be sharing the experience with Pokemon that I don't want to keep on my team. Like, I'm already kind of doing that with fucking, uh, whatchamacallit? 
with Spiro, but it's just safer this way, right? All right, we're at the end of Nugget Bridge. Congratulations, you beat our five contest trainers. You just earned a fabulous prize. Thank you. By the way, would you like to join Team Rocket? We're a group dedicated to evil using Pokemon. Want to join? Hmm, maybe. But then again, do you guys have health coverage? Are you sure? Come on, join us. I'm telling you to join us. Okay, you need some convincing. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. I need an adult! Rocket wants to fight. Rocket sends out Eggins. Oh, fucking shit. We're dealing with this shit again? God damn it. Right off the bat. Just get on out there so you can throw that leech seed. Now, I'm not sure... I could try and test it out, but I don't think... I don't think poison affects poison types in Gen 1, does it? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna throw that leech seed on you, though. Now I'm just waiting for you to rap. Oh, you're not using rap no more. Okay, well. Please teach this up there as a precaution. Nice. It's about to use Zubat. Yes, I will change Pokemon. Go, the kinky cat. Nazi cat. Tackle. Well, that's some nice damage for Magikarp. How much does Leech Life do to me? Alright, that's a critical? Oh, shit. I mean, it does heal back from it, though. Oh, fuck, come on, don't start missing shit. Alright, never mind. I was gonna let you do it, Carp. But you started missing, and now I'm looking at how bad this can turn out to be, so... I'm just gonna switch you on out, because I don't wanna, I don't wanna sit here forever. Go ahead, use Peck. Super effective, right? Not really. It shouldn't be. I feel like it should, though, because, you know, Zubat just has super thin wings, and just peck a hole in one of them, and it just starts going down like a fucking airplane. Or more like a paper airplane. Erg. You are good. I am good. With your ability, you could become a top leader in Team Rocket. Listen, if it was up to me, I probably would join Team Rocket. Mainly because I get to meet Jessie. Oh my god, I have such a crush on her. <laughs> I love you, Jessie. A couple of months ago, I started watching the original Pokemon again. Original? What the hell am I saying? Uh, Gen 1 Pokemon Indigo League, and I was just sitting there, I was like, man, I, I guess over the years, my mind must have changed, but I forgot how much I, how much I just love Jessie. Like, god damn. <laughs> god damn, girl. You grown. So, I basically just saved twice. Time for me to get our, uh, our next team member. Can I fight you, actually? Oh, shit. It's a Caterpie. Hi, Caterpie. Bye, Caterpie. Can I fight you? Yeah, I can. Okay. First, let's fight you. I saw your f what? I saw your feet from the grass. Wrong type of feet, jackass. Also, you're weird. <laughs> he said I was looking at you through the grass. Show me them feet. Go. The king of cat. Magic cat. Oh god, that's that's kind of strong. How much do I do? Eh, it's all right. It's not that crazy. Can you survive a quick attack? Please say yes. Oh, you're using Tail Whip? Well, now you can't survive a quick attack. Don't use quick attack. 
criticals. Aw. It wasn't a critical, it's just strong. Oh, come on. All right, see, now that was unnecessary. You didn't have to do that. That was, that was uncalled for. Fucking, what? But it's okay. Because Magikarp's got this. All by himself. I'm so proud of you. Ekans. Eh, you can stay in just to get that experience. Gonna switch on out. Now it's time to just play the waiting game. Mm, 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 mm. Oh wow, that didn't last as long as I thought it would. Oh, there goes Rat. And now I get my health back. Isn't it a beautiful thing? I just get the health back. Look at that. Does six damage? No, it didn't. I'm back to where I was at before. Great. Tackle. Critical hit. Oh, shit. Level up, Magikarp. There you go. Got two more levels. I thought not. Yeah, I'm not showing you my feet, you creeper. Alright. So over here, we can run into uh, Caterpie and Oddish. I think we can... I think... Can you run... Is there something else you can run into over here? I think a Nidoran? A Nidoran female? Female Nidoran? Something like that. But more importantly, we want a different Pokemon. Please show up now. Oh, we can run into Pidgeys too. God damn it. We might be here for a while. I think the Pokemon's, uh... The Pokemon's, uh, appearance rate is... Is, like, the lowest in this area. Oh, there's Bellsprout's in here. I think Bellsprout... I think Bellsprout is, uh... Exclusive to Pokemon Blue. I'm not sure. Maybe that's in Fire Red and Leaf Green. Alright, Bellsprout, get the fuck out of here. I don't want to hang out with you. Come on. Oh my god, I'm gonna be here all day. I just hit the shit out of my desk. Ow. <laughs> well, I mean, it's a good spot to grind if you want to do that. Which I'm gonna have to do in a little bit, so... Maybe in a little bit. I'm not sure. Just a little bit, baby. I'm gonna be here forever. This is my life. Welcome to the world of Pokemon, baby. Alright, well, guess I'm gonna cut away until, uh... Until the Pokemon I'm looking for shows up. Alright. There he is. Whew. That took some time to get to him. So, here he is, in all his glory. Our newest addition to our team. This is Abra. Ooh, it's level 10, too. This is Abra. Now, listen. Abra is a Psychic-type Pokemon. You motherfuckers think I was gonna play this game without a Psychic-type Pokemon? You must be out of your goddamn mind. Psychic-type Pokemon in this game are overpowered as shit. Now, Abra here... Well, I guess, let me just explain a little bit. So, earlier in the playthrough, I did explain that... For Gen 1, I chose kind of a theme to go with our Pokemon team, right? You know, theme of, like, event, fucking uh, discovery and, like, new findings and stuff like that. And things that kids would talk about on the playground because you would find out more shit through that. Abra here is one of the best examples of that Pokemon. Now, Abra, when you run into it in the wild, it only knows one move, which is teleport. And, as you may guess, teleport means that it will run away the moment it sees you. So, with that said, because I'm not playing Pokemon Yellow and, you know, you see all the wonderful colors on the screen right now instead of just black and white, 
you guys already know that I am playing this game on an emulator. With that said, this is the only time that I think I'm ever really going to abuse, like, the save state stuff, you know, except for saving my game, right? Because I am not hunting down another goddamn Abra, so I'm gonna put a save state here, right? And then... We're gonna take our Pokeball, because this is the only way to really catch Abra. I mean, you can put it to sleep and try and paralyze it, but the moment it doesn't work, Abra's gonna use Teleport and get the hell out of there. This is where my save state comes in handy, because I am not... I'm not up for the chase. And I'm not buying a million fucking Pokeballs. So with that said, second try, caught Abra. We didn't have to use save states that many times. 